Kumba biscuits. So as the title gave away, do I not write my own book? Oh, that depends on thoughts. I do actually write all my own books, but I get asked this enough that I thought, you know what? I'll do a vlog on it. What the heck to do? It'll just kind of sit down. I thought I would keep this very casual. Um, no, I do write all my own books. They are a labor of love. It is very time intensive. It has, you know, eaten up a lot of my sleep time because I do still work full time in this YouTube universe and on my Patreon and with my visual media work and then taking care of the monkeys. Well, more than a full time job. Um, but it's been it's been so lovely to get to create these worlds and they all, you know, tie in, have beautiful, fun connections that I love. I love doing that. I always add Easter eggs in each novel that tie into the other ones. Um, and I have a lot of, a lot of fun with that. Um, but no, it's a lot of work and I can kind of see more and more as I have to put all this effort in and I kind of learn, I feel like each book, you know, is hopefully an improvement upon the other and that's the feedback I get back. Um, why people kind of are skeptical that a YouTuber vlogger person would write books because it is such a different part of your your noggin that you're using and I know I really have to switch gears when I am writing versus doing visual work doing videos or doing photography um because it does just use a different part of your mind but I'm surprised how how people will argue with you and be like there's no way there's no way you wrote this book I'm like why does it make you so angry I trust me I did um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of misplaced anger towards people in social media, and I don't know where that comes from, but that's part of why I enjoy being in the book world is that it is, you know, a slightly different medium, and I think it brings out a slightly different audience and a slightly different part of my creative side that's very fulfilling, and it lets me, you know, if I've had a rough day dealing with my regular social media work that I do um, and kind of tuck into writing and creating this universe and having this beautiful place to to be playful in and be silly and saucy in. Um, they are very saucy. I, I get that message frequently enough like, can I read this? I don't know. I'm un Should I be uncomfortable? And I think like, you're welcome to. I write, you know, very steamy romances with lots of great character and plot development. You know, you, there's a real solid, juicy story to bite your teeth into, but there's also a lot of romance and hugs, let's say. Um, uh oh, Abraham has gone off into the corner because he really wanted to tell you guys something and I said to him to wait. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's gonna have to come on here eventually and tell you about books, but I love it. And I thought it would be fun to just come and chat about writing on here because it is something that I get asked about a lot on my Instagram and that I do get a lot of um, a lot of beautiful lovely feedback from you all and thank you to those that have really loved my books have bought them and have enjoyed them and genuinely love the characters I've made that just that makes me so happy and you know I do also then get the grumpy people that are not mad about the book per se but just about social media people like Stepping, stepping outside their lane. Is that what you, you drive outside your lane? Being outside their lane, let's say. Being outside their lane. And I really think that, you know, when you, when you have a creative mind, right, it's really natural to just kind of zoom between lanes. I, that metaphor is probably not working. But, you know, to be in different creative mediums because it makes total sense. It's lots of fun. Uh, I feel like it ties in greatly. You know, I'll I'll be doing a uh, a clothing haul, and I'll think, oh, this would be fun to add some elements of this clothing into what one of my characters is wearing for something, or you know, you'll see a name somewhere while you're out shooting for Instagram photos, and I think, oh, this would be really fun to add for a character's name, and I like that it just integrates into your life once you start writing all the time, and I had taken a big break this year in writing um, because I just had so much else. My Patreon had grown so much. Thank you all beautiful biscuits that are on there. I really appreciate that. And my YouTube had grown a lot. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell. But it's just grown a lot and then we were moving and that was a really big project. And it was so nice over the summer to get back into writing and finish up my latest project um, because I don't know, you, I grow at least to miss these characters and miss these worlds because it is so much fun. Um, and you know, when Netflix doesn't have anything good to stream on, I'm okay with then just writing a novel or a novella. 
I'm happy with that. That makes me happy. It gives me something to do. It's like having TV, but I come up with my own stories. <laughs> hey, I hope that this answered a question that some, I know not all of you, I realize this might not be the most popular vlog, but I got enough questions about it on Instagram that I thought, you know, why not just do a vlog? Let's chat about it. Um, chat. Yes, we're going to chat. Let's chat about it. You can always let me know. Email me. I know the comments aren't um, enabled on here because this is the family channel. Only certain family channels on YouTube are allowed comments. I don't know the logic there, but that's cool. I get wanting to protect the monkeys. You can always email me or you can direct message me on Instagram. Um, if you do have other questions about my books, I'll get questions from some of you lovely biscuits about, you know, which book would they like the most? And I love talking about that. Or, oh, you know, where do I get my ideas from? Uh, so I'm always, I'm always happy to talk about that. But I thought I'd just come on and chatter about that because it is, I love reading books. I love reading novels. I love reading novellas. I love short story collections. I love seeing what other YouTubers have created for books. It's really fun. It's a beautiful medium. Um, I'm starting to get into audiobooks, which is really fun. And I just, I love it as a genre of great awesomeness for creative people because you just get to tell these great detailed stories and you know, you can read it piecemeal. Um, I like to get paperback books to read in the bath and I get like two pages at a time. But it's, it's a fun way to relax and to do a little bit of self-care time, I find. Like, even as a super busy mama, and I know so many of us are, right? I mean, who of us are them? Um, it's really nice to take 15 minutes in the evening, maybe half an hour, and read before bed and calm myself down and use that as self-care time. Where I'm not worrying, I'm not thinking about all this stuff, I'm not getting things done. I'm just reading a nice, easy to read through book, right? You know? Something that makes me smile and it's enjoyable. It's a nice part of my self-care routine. Okay, I'll see you all over and in the next video. Thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of the wholesome feed on here because I love seeing you grow. See you around. Bye.